Well, I finally got my torch working. Here's my setup. I got an 11 plate stainless, they're 2x6, and uh, they're negative, positive in the middle, negative on the other end. I'm running it off a of Harbor Freight DC inverter welder, it's an arc welder. And I had problems with this container because it didn't want to seal, so I had to make my own gasket for it. I was losing uh, pressure there. And there's my little bubbler set up to filter out the hydrogen gas. I don't need this anymore. And my torch works. I can't believe it. It's a small flame, but it's working. That means I need more production, so let me get it fired up. See that? <laughs> That's cool. All right, I got a little uh, piece of stainless steel here. I'm gonna try to. It's a little sliver. I'm gonna try to melt it. Oh, it's hot. There it is. That is cool. This is a torch powered by hydrogen from water that the atoms were split because of electrolysis. That is pretty neat and that is really hot. And the longer I let it go, I guess the solution has to heat up before you really get good production out of it. The longer I let it go, the longer my flame is becoming. I get a little needle valve here now. As far as a flame arrestor goes, I don't have a huge flame arrestor on this. This is a number six. It's a 0.6 millimeter MIG welding tip. And my, <clears throat> the stuff that I've got going on in here is just brass wool setup. I'm gonna do one with sand and a spring because it's less restrictive. But I only have a small amount of uh, brass wool in here. I had it filled up all the way to the end. But it was no good. It wouldn't let any gas through. It was too restrictive. I get a little pop when I shut it off. But not much. And uh, so far, it's working great. I just got to uh, get a little more production out of it. Lights right up nice. First shot. No popping, spitting, none of that. That's cool. And the solution I use for electrolyte is real, uh, it's real nasty right now. I made a mistake. I had distilled vinegar and I put some baking soda in it. Caused, wreaked all kinds of havoc on my plates. They were totally jammed up with corrosion. Everything was falling apart. As you see, it's really filthy now, but that's the tail end of the plates being cleaned off because I've been running it through a solution of uh, distilled water and different types of drain cleaner. One of them is this right here, Drano Cleaner. And the reason I'm using it is because if you look on there, contains sodium hydroxide caustic soda slash lye and it's really helped my plates were really wicked nasty I mean they were totally discolored totally jammed up inside I don't know it was real bad so instead of taking the whole thing apart I'd see if I could chemically clean it and I've been going through uh, distilled water and that mixing it up letting it sit overnight running it on like 10 amps for an hour or two letting it heat up and sure enough, all that crap came off, and the plates are looking good now, so just a little tip. I took uh, some zip ties, and I zipped them through the inside, the spacing of the plates to get any corrosion out of there, and uh, hit it with a garden hose on full steam, and a little carburetor cleaner cleaned them right up. And finally, I'm getting good production. It was driving me crazy. But that is a solution. It's, one, it's a, almost a gallon of distilled water. And I am using some baking soda, just because that's helping me clean the plates too, without the vinegar. 
I put the vinegar in the baking soda. I made the mistake of putting baking soda in the vinegar, and it, man, what a nightmare that was. Um, and it, it's it's cleaning it up nice. That's pretty nasty. I gotta get some real lye. Everyone says that's the best thing to use. I don't know what the mix is on that Drano, but there's other stuff in there too. I guess lye is white, and that's not all white, so let's get some other junk in it. But anybody's interested in making a mini torch that actually burns, there it is. And it's all water. That's so cool. All right.